President Emerson Nengogwa, according to a traditional elder in Manikaland, is surrounded by thieves who feed him false information while robbing the nation of its natural riches. The country, according to the traditional leader, has lost out on a significant amount of cash derived from the selling of mineral resources. Chief James Mutosa said this week at an emotional workshop on decentralization held in Mutia by the Center for Research for Peace and Development in Africa in collaboration with the Center for Natural Resource Governance that there were con artists in the mining industry who hung around Ningogwa and gave him incorrect information and advice. He claimed that these thieves were enriching themselves by abusing their power. I have absolutely nothing against mining in Zimbabwe. Large gold deposits may be found in the Mutosa district. But to my surprise, there are a lot of miners there who are also taking the gold. The fact that the residents of Mutosa are not receiving any profit from their gold bothers me. He remarked. You arrive, take the gold, and construct mansions in Harare. You travel in luxurious and costly vehicles, but you ignore the Mutosa residents. They are underprivileged families in my community. Why can't you provide them with housing through CSI initiatives? The residents of Mutasa have nothing to offer and genuinely merit this assistance, the chief remarked. Why are people from places other than Mutasa the majority of those gold claim owners? Those from outside of Mutasa are in charge of the mining there. And they are stealing our resources. He added, I am the custodian of the land, I know everything occurring on the ground. He then expressed further dissatisfaction with how he and his people have been handled in terms of the benefits from mining revenue. Some people have hired Chinese miners to perform their mining, while my people who have the skills are deprived of the chance due to systemic corruption. These are some of the things I will emphasize to the president because I report directly to him. The mining operations are rife with anomalies. In order for everyone to gain, corporate social responsibility must be done properly. To address concerns that affected them, he persuaded the miners in the Mutosa district to establish the Mutosa Miners Association. Small-scale miners, community-based organizations active in mining areas, other stakeholders, and the media also attended the gathering.